today we're gonna be putting in a bubbling rock. We got uh, cool space in here. I painted out where we're gonna be putting in the basin. I'm gonna do a little bit of boulder work and some plants in here. This is right next to a beautiful event barn. Such a cool place. They have all kinds of those Italian, uh, those, those big chunks of stone uh, that the Italian masons laid. Uh, you see bridges and stuff made out of them. They have retaining walls made out of that all over here. It's gorgeous place and the front of the barn is one of those mill pouch tobacco. This is red men, true red men tobacco. Beautiful painting on it. Such a cool spot. Right next to this, uh, that's the event barn in there where they have weddings and receptions, you name it in there. So we want to get some good visual from out here and just make a nice spot for people to go to take pictures and stuff when they're having parties here. First thing I'm gonna do is plant some boulders in here to help bring the grade up a little bit, level this out with my excavator, and then we'll put in our basin. We got our aqua blocks all laid out there. That's for our under, underground reservoir. Yep, that's the size we're putting in. So, stay tuned. Get my excavator, build beautiful stuff. That's what we do. Alrighty folks, it's a wrap. We uh, worked really hard and we got this thing running. All the foaming and the mossing and the aquatic plants, we spread river gravel on there. Such a beautiful little corner. And what are we building it for? Check this out in here. This is the big event center I was talking about. It's called The Barn on Pennington Road. Check it out, uh, weddings, receptions, you name it. What cooler thing could you put in the front of this building than a bubbling rock? And I think, look, if you come over here, just look at that big old chandelier. It's gorgeous in here. Check this out. It's gorgeous in here. This is what I want to show you. When I was building, I wanted to see that from this window. How cool is that? I think this ball door opens. And you can come out here, out on the deck. Check that out. When you got a driveway entrance like this, you have a front porch like this, and you have this cool bed over here, you know what you gotta put in, right? What is it, Deej? Water feature? Yeah, water feature, but not, this doesn't, this, it's not just any water feature for an entrance like this. It includes- Keep guessing. I mean, you wouldn't put a pond here. Urns. Urns, mm, boulders. Boulders. Fountainscape, you yes. Got it. That's what we're looking for right here. It's gonna capture the attention when you come in the driveway, and it's just like, the front entrance of a home, it's a perfect place for a fountainscape. So that's what we're putting in here today. A large urn, a medium urn, and a small urn, and then we've got uh, lime, weathered limestone boulders and some driftwood, and we're gonna build some pools in it, maybe some cool waterfalls coming out. So all kinds of cool stuff in a big fountain, fountain display right here in the front. Right here is where it's going. Got some landscaping going on here, some flagstone walkway over there. So we're gonna build a grand entrance to a beautiful new home.
Project completion. Very happy with how this turned out. This is going to transform this front entrance in a way that nothing else really could have. Uh, Drew said he was here early Saturday morning, five o'clock in the morning, and he said the lighting is just phenomenal. So take it from a customer. If you're considering doing one of these projects, don't skimp on the lighting. It, is, it makes a big part of the feature. Good morning, good morning. A brand new project. We have the entrance of this beautiful home and we're going to be giving them a little facelift. They had a big uh, weeping cherry right there. Right in here. I'll show you here. So we have a new bed edge. There's some retaining walls down there that are failing. We're taking those out and putting in some massive boulders right in there. And then right here beside the walkway, lined up with that window and that window, we're gonna put a bubbling rock set up. Three bubbling boulders. It's gonna give some visual from inside the house a nice entrance fountain. You'll be able to see it from the street. The cool thing about those bubbling boulders is they're pretty much 360 viewing. They look good from all angles. And get some lights on there. It's gonna change the way this entrance looks. Good evening. This is what you call a two-day transformation. Our landscape is in. They decided to add landscape, which I'm glad they did. This sure makes it look complete. And tore out the walls, added weather sensitive boulders, put in our plantings. We have a weeping Norway up there and added a maple tree over there. And at the top, we have my favorite thing, a bubbling rock, a cascade. That's usually a one-day build but we had some landscapes and boulder work to do, so it turned into a two-day project. But this was quite the transformation in two days worth of time. I am ready to plug this thing in. Ready to see water in it, Deej? Yeah, so the chocolate, chocolatey water. Chocolatey, yeah. Look at this. It's just a rock. Oh, wait, there's more. That's how you organize things. Our pump, our dosing system, our ion gen, except there's no electric here yet. That's coming tomorrow. Here's the cord for that. So let's plug in our lights. So we want to see those tonight. And let's plug in our pump. All going to come shooting out of the roller rock that we got here. Open our valve box over here and adjust them. This one's the little one. I'll turn it back a while. That's actually looking pretty good. That is really cool. I love how it rolls over that stump. Looks like someone likes the bubbling rock feature. <laughs> here in beautiful Everett, Pennsylvania. This is a super cool... Um, outdoor living space. Yeah, well, it's an outdoor living space common. But yeah, they do have kind of an outdoor living space going here. They have a grill over there, sink, nice fireplace over here. And I can see by the fireplace that these guys are spending time out here. And I'm excited today. Well, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. We're going to uh, put a flagstone walkway in here, uh, wrap it over into here, and... Put a few steps in right here. And you know that when you have that view right there, that right here. Jackson, what, what, what are we putting in here? We're putting in awesomeness right here. Beautiful bubbling rocks, urns, 
Wonderful water feature. You got it! You heard it. You heard it from Jackson right there. When you have a space like this, you need to bring the water in here. Why? Because you need life. That's why. You can have a beautiful hardscape, but it's just dead until you bring that waterscape in. So we're putting in a beautiful fountain feature right here. Three bubbling rocks, three urns, stack slate urns, three bowls, just a beautiful custom fountain display right here. You're not gonna know which to watch, the fireplace over there. Yeah, you will. You're gonna wanna watch the this water feature, feature, of course. <laughs> and we're putting a bunch of lights on it, so at night it's gonna be all lit up. And then that walkway is gonna continue on over in here, and we're gonna put some additional seating over in here. Uh, that you can see the paint lines. There's a seating wall going along there, and this spot will get leveled out, and we'll put a nice uh, flagstone patio in here. Just because that space is a little bit small, they want some additional seating, and it's gonna tie the walkway and this seating area together. People are gonna be able to walk down those steps along the walkway, spend some time staring at the waterfall, then walk over in here. It's all gonna be connected. You always want interaction, interaction. If you're building a waterfall, you wanna build your living space out around it so that you're gonna be able to interact with it. I'm excited for this build. This is gonna be fun. I love putting these little, this is actually a big one, uh, fountain features in the rocks and the moss and the stumps. And it's like an artist's dream. You get this big, it's a little bit like going to the candy store and being allowed to pick out whatever you want. It's been uh, two weeks and three days since we took this backyard from a grassy hill to this beautiful outdoor living space. I really like this one, it's very unique. Every ounce of space here is used right. It's a very usable area and uh, I like how the everything interacts so closely, you know, from the fire features, from the grilling areas, uh, from the fireplace to the water feature, the walkway, it allows you to interact and enjoy everything in one unique space. So it's been a, it's been a fun build.